Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. For the first time since the Florida Daily COVID dashboard was taken down in June, Governor Ron DeSantis says it might be a good idea to start daily reporting once again. But in terms of the uh, breaking it down by county, you know, that may not be a bad idea going forward. I know we used to look at that a lot. In a virtual press conference, Democratic state lawmakers' response amounted to, what took so long? It's like um, going into a football game and trying to make halftime adjustments and you're down 70 points. The governor's comment comes after the Department of Health got in a public spat with the CDC via Twitter. The agency published three days of cases over the span of two, artificially inflating the number to a would-be record of over 28,000 cases for two consecutive days. Democrats say it's all the more reason for the state to publish the data itself. The information should come directly from the source and it should be blanketed and universally given out on a daily basis to everyone. Most, if not all, of the statistics Democrats are asking for from the state are already reported by the CDC, but Democrats say the detail and frequency of that data is what's lacking. The more concrete data we and localized data that we can give to our communities, the better equipped they will be to make the decisions they need to make to keep their families and communities safe. Exactly what local governments could do in response to daily data from the state is limited. Mask mandates are banned and lockdowns are forbidden under state laws passed earlier this year. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.